Hello everybody and welcome to Let's Look at Fallen A2P Protocol. So what is Fallen A2P Protocol? Well, it's a top-down strategy game, somewhat reminiscent of XCOM, the newer ones, and the older ones. But it manages to stand on its own in its post-apocalyptic post genre is undeniable. I don't know why I started with my words there, but I did. That's fine. So we're gonna just load up my. Hmm, uh, let's just load up my current campaign and show you guys what's happening. The game's got a pretty decent story. The graphics leave something to be desired, though. But it's not that big of a deal. Mission kill all enemies, go to the extraction point. While you were driving your caravan, you see some smoking cars crashing your way. You shoot. Okay. So this is basically how missions work. You get your rewards down here. Scraps. Oh my gosh. You have what your weather could be here, you have your objectives, most of them are pretty simple, I haven't seen anything that's been too amazing. But let's go to the caravan sc screen and start with what I'm not sure I like. The UI could use some work, it could honestly use some work, and the skill tree, there's not a lot here. But this game is an early access, and as far as early access game, I think it's pretty dang good, because it actually works. Which is... I think a game actually working is a stunning review as far as early access is concerned. Others don't think that, but I do. Let's invest people's points here. You have, as you can see, we've got four trees mainly. We've got your fighting, your more defense healing focused, your like, well, this is melee fighting. This is more guns, and this is also guns. Then I'm just gonna make sure I get all my guys' body armor. Excuse me, I do this now. I do this now before I show you fun stuff. Oh, 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 oh. Be so sorry. But I have to do this. You understand? Okay, whatever. They have all got ammo. Uh, you don't need to carry another, an extra sniper rifle. Why you would carry an extra sniper rifle? You don't even need to carry a sniper rifle. Put those away, child. You don't got no sniper rifle bullets. You don't need to carry 28 pistols either. And you know, all these are the same stats. All those are exactly the same stats. You don't need to carry extra pistols either. Assault rifle is worthless to you guys. Anyway. Put away that katana. Jeez, man. You don't have any ammo, do you? I guess I'll put this there and try to find you some pistol ammo. Uh, do 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 do. I can't split that in half. It looks like some people just aren't going to have any any good guns. Yeah, well, melee combat in this game works. I don't think it works spectacularly, but it works. Yeah, well, let's travel and just show you some of the combat, which is really where this game kind of shines. Now, before we start getting into this, I need to admit a few things. This game is not that good. It is an early access, extremely early access. It just released an early access about a week ago, I think. But it's extremely early access. However, what is here is potential. There's lots of potential. The post-apocalyptic aesthetic really has me intrigued. And oh, what's happening? We found, we see peoples. We see peoples. The post-apocalyptic. Oh my gosh. It does that ding whenever your guys spot new enemies, just to like, I guess you can stop and redistribute where you're moving your people. I don't like it too much. Kind of noise, but I wish you could turn it off. Oh, also, the game, as far as options can concerned, well, what are options? Here. Basically, the only options you have is an option to mute audio and to turn off sound effects. Yeah, just get rid of audio, and that's about it. And I think you have full screen. No, you don't even have full screen options. I'm sorry. So, it's extremely bare bones as far as things are concerned. There's no graphics options. Actually, there are graphics op options, but those are not included in the game. Those are on startup. So, the game's obviously in extremely early access. However, the combat, even in its early access, is still pretty good. As you can see, you've got 10 action points here. Each action point, like, it takes 4 to shoot. You can use as many as you want to cover, take cover, 4 to reload. And we have our weapons here. Switching weapons does not take any time. You have tank aim, which basically makes you... Well, what does it sound like? You aim. It's just a skill that allows you to aim. 
We've got a 10 ATP system, cost 1 to move per tile. I'm. It's kind of like. I don't know. I like XCOM Enemy Unknown system of you get two moves less, uh, left. Two moves. You get two moves, right? And how far you move is determined by your speed stat or whatever. There's some complex math for it. I don't remember. But yeah, this game's got lots of potential here, even though it is bare bones. I find the combat to be decent enough. It's not good. There's really nothing great about this game yet, but it is in super early access. And I'm going to tell you why you should watch it. First of all, there hasn't been any post-apocalyptic RTS games. Sorry, not even not RTS games. Like, turn-based games other than Wasteland. Wasteland is the legit only one. Is the only one. Which I think is a shame. Because I personally love turn-based strategy games. I wish we had more of them. Shoot. It has this little action cam, also something I think it borrowed from XCOM. It's not, mm, it's not great, not great. It could use its moment. The graphics really kind of shine through with a lack of the graphics. But it's not bad. There's really nothing bad about this game. But there's nothing particularly good about this game. As I've been saying, it's got lots of potential. A lot of potential. Okay, we're going to just move you there. And you can take two swipes at this guy. Or just only one, because you only need one. Whatever. Here. You go into Overwatch. You go there. Oops, oh, sorry. That. Thank you. Take a... Oh, you cannot take a shot at him. Well then, you just are going to hunker down. Okay, we're gonna need to move you up. Um, this is not a really good position. We'll move him over there to start flanking next turn. That's not the route I would have chosen, my friend, but it's the route you took. So, again, as I was saying, this game has lots of lots of potential. It's not. There's not anything here yet, though. That was an interesting Overwatch. It's extremely bare bones. However, post-apocalyptic RTSs are in short supply, so I think any ones that we get should be viewed. Should be seen, should be seen. But why am I excited for this game? Well, first of all, the setting, as I've already mentioned multiple times. If have you been listening to this video? Uh, if you haven't, if you did not know that I thought this game had lots of potential, I don't think you've been listening to this video very well, huh? But if you have, you know, I think this game has lots of potential for the 30 billionth time. But why does it have potential? I don't really know why I think it has potential. It just does. This system right here, it's not its not bad. It's not good. It can definitely be improved. And the devs say they're going to improve it. Which, yeah. Devs should always be improving their game. The game's got... There, it's got stuff going for it. I like the inventory system. The storyline so far has been... Decent. It's been decent enough to keep me engaged. There's nothing super. Ah, weather effects. Weather effects. Weather effects are not okay. People can't run in the heat, guys. You gotta remember that. However, the game is lacking lots of things that I find kind of inexcusable, even in an early alpha state. For example, it's lacking. Um, it's lacking any form of difficulty whatsoever. Fighting enemies is extremely easy in this game. I don't know if it gets harder. I've only played the game for about 3-4 hours as of this review. But it's extremely easy and there's really no reason for you to concern yourself with anything. And I, I think that's a shame. The game would be so much funner if it had a more in-depth strategy to it. If enemies were actually deadly. Like look at our health bars compared to our enemies. 5 compared to 10, or look at this guy, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 17 health, 17 freaking health, nice shot my friend, take aim, boom, got him, that was, that was pretty good, proud of that guy, that guy's gonna come up and just get killed like all his friends have, but yeah, this game's got lots of potential, so that's basically all the game's got, though. 
scat potential and lots of it but that's about it so I can't recommend buying this game now I just can't there's really nothing here that justifies you purchasing it now however what you should do is keep your eye on it I think this game's got lots of potential I want to see it developed more I may even do a series on it if I find it to be good I find it to have lots of potential but that doesn't mean it's good oh god does that not mean it's good I've seen some pretty awful games and after you've played an awful game even if that awful game had a lot of potential trust me you never ever want to think of the risk again but I'm basically just gonna show you how the rest of the match goes in part because you can't save in the middle of combat don't ask me why I don't I don't know who came up with that alpha I guess early access alpha so some features that may be in the final game are not here like I said potential that's all the games get nothing but potential but we're just gonna keep on going out here there's honestly not a whole lot of tactics I'm basically just gonna keep on moving my people in a straight line with the people using melee weapons mailing and the people using our the ranged weapons not arm weapons the people using ranged weapons killing those guys are in a big group seems kinda like a bad idea to me I don't know I don't know they can be stupid it makes them easier to kill please duck sir uh, I'm gonna just take the reload. Can you shoot? You cannot. Why? Ah, uh, whatever. Do, 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 do. Let's keep on going. The review is over at this point. I recommend that I am. Um, if you thought this review was half decent, I recommend that you subscribe. If you think that this game has lots of potential, I recommend you like the video. If you're a dev and you've made this game and you're watching this video, I think you should also subscribe and like the video because this is a. I gave your game free press and told everyone it had lots of potential. Um, if you're any other person, then stuff happened. So, how's it going, guys? But yeah, I'm just going to end the let's look at here. You've basically seen all the game has to offer. There's not an amazing amount here. There are hub cities you can go to and just kind of shop, but that's nothing amazing. And I think you honestly have way too much cash because everything just costs like 10 bucks. But yeah, that's, that's Fallen ATP Protocol, I believe. That's all the game has to offer. If you really, 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 really like what you see, get the game. If you don't, then don't. Again, if you enjoy, if you enjoyed the video, like it. And if you want to see more, subscribe. Goodbye.